The curlew is undoubtedly one of the most recognisable UK bird species. Its haunting call is the soundscape of our moors. Ensuring that curlew and other breeding waders, such as lapwing and snipe, have access to a mosaic of habitats is essential for their survival. We know that the best way forward for delivering ecosystem services like carbon storage, combating climate change and protecting biodiversity is landscape scale protection and conservation. Through the Environmental Farming Scheme Group option, we have an incredible opportunity to reprofile the land for waders while ensuring farmers are being rewarded for providing these environmental services. There are several area options within EFS Hire to support breeding waders on your land. These include a range of grassland options, including the breeding wader option or purple moor grass and rush pasture. There is also an area payment available to support waders if you have more land on the farm. The sward and vegetation structure are key aspects for breeding wader habitats. We aim for a mix of short sward, taller tussocks, and wet, soft ground or shallow open water. This will provide areas of nesting, cover, and feeding, while also providing diversity and habitat of upland species and insects. Ideally, the vegetation structure is created through livestock grazing, preferably by cattle, native breeds if possible, with late summer to early winter grazing creating the structure for the next spring's breeding season. Maintenance of the habitat should continue through the breeding season. This is mid-April to mid-July, with livestock grazing at appropriate low densities as prescribed in your EFS plan. However, to decrease the likelihood of nest and chick trampling, overwintering cattle should not be put directly onto the breeding wader option sites or any field with known breeding waders. Rush management is vital for breeding waders, for although rush provides height to the sward, providing habitat for insects and cover for birds, when it dominates, it creates a monoculture. This results in the habitat becoming too dense for waders to use and the sward losing biodiversity. Through an MPI, a non-productive investment of the EFS hire scheme, cutting of rushes can be funded. Rush should be cut as early as possible in late summer, around August or September, as this will ensure that there is some regrowth in the spring to provide protection and cover for returning birds. If possible, the cut rushes should ideally be removed from site. Where this isn't possible, graze with cattle immediately after cutting to help break up the rush mat. To help support biodiversity on your land, the RSPB further suggests to leave about 30% of your rushes uncut, providing a taller sward structure, ensuring biodiversity in insects and plants, while also leaving cover for waders and other ground nesting species, such as skylarks and meadow pipits. Also, as we know predators follow linear lines in habitat, such as walls, fences and hedgerows, cut the rush in blocks with no tracks into or between them. Wet features such as scrapes, drains and standing surface water are vital for waders and wildlife on your land. They provide an abundance of insects throughout the breeding season for both adults and chicks. Some of these features may already be present on the land but if they need to be created, there are EFS NPIs available. Operations to create, profile or maintain wet areas should be done outside the breeding and rearing period and during the driest period in late summer and early autumn. Scrapes are artificially created shallow edged pools. The idea behind them is to create a wet feature which will gradually dry up over the summer, continuously providing muddy invertebrate rich feeding areas. Therefore, when creating your scrape, ensure that it is not uniform in depth across the whole area, with humps and hollows throughout to provide as many niches for plants and animals as possible, with the deepest area around 50 centimetres. Upkeep of the scrape is important to maintain the open, muddy margins for wader use. If the margins become too overgrown with plants, such as rush, annual mowing or clearing out with a digger when needed might be required. Drains play an important part in habitat creation for waders. They provide increased foraging habitat for wader chicks, which prefer to forage around the invertebrate-rich margins of the drains. So wildlife and waders can readily access the edges. We aim for a 30 to 45 degree angled edge. Similar to the scrape upkeep, we aim to maintain the drain's muddy margins for wader foraging. Although scrub and trees provide shelter for livestock and habitat for smaller bird species, adult waders will actually normally avoid nesting near them, as this obscures the view of predators. Chick-rearing adults avoid such areas for the exact same reason. 
trees provide perching and nesting posts for aerial predators, such as hooded crows, while also providing cover for ground predators, such as foxes and stoats. There are a number of scrub control MPI options available within the EFS scheme. These will depend on the density and size of your scrub present. You are encouraged to keep your breeding wader and purple moorgrass fields open and clear. To open up the upland habitat and increase potential breeding habitat for waders, scrub and trees can be removed. A few things to keep in mind. Aim to remove scrub between September and February. Where possible, do not damage wildlife or archaeology. Use a digger to remove the scrub and roots, as well as the nutrient-rich topsoil. This will re-expose the mineral layer and restart natural succession. Avoid burying the removed scrub, ideally removing it and burning away from high-value habitats. One of the key aims of the higher scheme is to restore, preserve and enhance biodiversity. Here in the Antrim Hills, through partnership with DERA and the landowners, we are reprofiling the land and creating a space for wildlife. If you have breeding waders on your land, or would like any further advice on biodiversity, the RSPB would love to hear from you.